Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a review of another neat quadcopter. This is the Mole King 33043 Super F. Now, the Super F is a micro size Mole King. Uh, we had uh, most of them are the previous Mole Kings I've been reviewing have been uh, either cronies in between a micro and a mini, and also minis. This is the first micro Mole, or Mole King that I've seen. And it seems to be a well-designed little uh, micro, uh, very similar to the other um, Mold King products. Now the basic design is very similar to, like I said, all the previous uh, um, Mold Kings in the 3304X series. It looks just ex exactly the same as them actually, except for the size. Now the battery in this is just a little 380, I believe a 380 milliamp hour, um, 3.7 volt. So, you know, you can fit your standard 300 to 350, 380s inside this and use it with this little quadcopter. Let me pull it out to make sure I'm not lying on that. I might be wrong. No, this battery it appears to be a 280, 280 milliamp per hour. But I tried it with a 350, and a 350 did fit inside of it. I'm putting it back in there. Um, I believe it's advertised with a 380, but it's actually a 280. Is what it is. Um, the controller for this, uh, the left button on it, controls your rates with a quick press, or if you hold it down, it enters one key return. The right button controls your flips, or if you hold it down, it enters headless mode. It has trim buttons for both um, uh, rudder, yaw, and for pitch and roll. Other than that, there's no other buttons. Uh, what would be here would be a camera button if this was a camera version, but this does not have a camera on it. This is just uh, simply a sport flyer. So other than that, it's just a basic little micro in the shape of a Mold King. So let's go for a flight of it and see how it performs. Now, if you notice, the battery connector is recessed into the quadcopter itself, so you have to plug it in as so to get it to start up. It has pretty lights, especially the white version. Make sure you get a white version if there's black versions out there. I prefer the white version because it's a good night flyer. And those lights show up very well at night. Turning on the transmitter, binding it to the quadcopter, and let's go for a flight of the 33043. First off, let's stabilize it. Hands off line. Very stable. Lights seem to be blinking and my battery seems to be dead, so we'll have to get back to this on another day. <laughs> so. Okay, I, I charged that battery. I did charge that battery. Wait a minute, I brought another battery. Well, the stock battery that came with it, I guess I didn't charge it properly, but I have another battery here. This one is a 3.7 volt. It doesn't say the milliamp per hour on it, but it feels, like, oh, it says a 400 milliamp per hour. Will it fit? Will it fit? This is a 400 milliamp per hour going in there. It fits very nicely, very easily sl slides in there. So we'll fly it with a 400 milliamp per hour. Unfortunately, again, this is not the stock battery, but a battery I just happen to have in my box here to save the day. <laughs> That'll be our headless mode bearing. Turning on the transmitter, binding it. Going up, there's a little breeze, but again, it's steady going into the breeze. We're in beginner rate. Again, this is not the stock battery. I'm sorry, folks, but I could have sworn I charged that stock battery, by the way. But very nice and stable. Look at this little flyer in beginner's rate. Let's bring it in close here. Nice stable flyer. Let's go to intermediate rate. And the R rate increases. Going to expert. And the R rate increases even more. So there's the yaw rate at expert. And funnels at expert. Let's bring it a little closer to see that. Okay, let's try some flips. Come down here and do some flips. Going back to beginner rate to do this too. Left flip. It's a little wobbly in the flips. How about in forward flight? Going intermediate. Expert. Get some speed. Uh, it's still a little wobbly in the flips. 
So, going back to intermediate, let's try the headless mode. Holding down the headless mode button. Okay, that's the headless mode direction. I guess it remembers the, coming out of headless mode. Let's see if it remembers the direction it's pointed when it was flying. Pointing in that direction now, headless mode. Okay, so you set headless mode by pointing the quadcopter in the direction you want it to fly in headless mode. In this case, I pointed it in that direction. Forward, right, left, back. Let's try that again. Let's, let's point it coming out of headless mode. And this time I'm going to point it in that direction, headless mode. No, it's, it's remembering that direction. Never mind what I said. <laughs> it remembers the direction it was pointed when it took off. Well, with that being the case, let's go up here and try the one key return. Going upwind or up in that direction. One key return, and here it comes back. And I'm going to apply yaw and go down the field and press one key return. See if it comes back. And yes, it does. Now, one key return only works if you're flying down the direction what you pointed the quadcopter when you took off. It's going to fly backwards down that same direction as shown here. Or in the throttle so it comes down toward me as it's coming back. But it's coming back in one key return. Okay, that's because the quadcopter was pointed in that direction when I took off. Let's do that one more time. Pressing one key return. Let's go to a higher rate and try that too. Now, if I'm off to the right, say over here, and I press that one key return, what happens is, <laughs> it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, let me bring it in here and see what that's about. I'm gonna bring it over close and see what, what that's about. Actually, I think I need to calibrate the gyros a second. Let's land it for a second and see if we can calibrate the gyros. And the way you calibrate gyros is, first you come out of headless mode. Oh, I was hitting one headless mode. I'm sorry, folks. That's why that one key return wasn't working. But let's go and try it. Bottom left. Maybe you need to be an expert. I'm not seeing the lights flash. Notice all the goose or geese poop around here. <laughs> geese love this area. That doesn't seem to do it. That doesn't seem there. The calibrated down and out. That calibrates the gyros. Am I still in headless mode? No, I'm not. So, one key return is this button. Let's see, let's see what happens. Okay. Do I need to be in headless mode for one key to... Okay, I'm in headless mode now. One key return. Maybe that area that I <laughs> that I balanced the gyros was not flat. Let's bring it back again and look for a flat surface, a flat and level surface over here, right there. That should be good. Let's try that. And what I'm going to also do is turn off the quadcopter. And that helps too. We are both going to do this. Point the quadcopter that way for headless mode. Turn on the transmitter. Find it. And also do the calibration. And take off. Let's fly out that way and see if one key return works. Okay, maybe you got to be in headless mode for one key return. It's coming back now. This seems, I think I have the headless mode and the one key return reversed here. Let's go to higher rate. Going well, not in that direction. Yeah, this is the one key return. I'm sorry, folks, I told you the wrong. Uh, and the left button is the headless mode. Let's try that again. Coming down a little lower. I'm rotating and pressing one key return. And it's returning, although slowly. Is 
It's a very slow one key return, <laughs> but it does it. Doesn't matter what rate you're in, apparently. Okay, coming out of headless mode. Yeah, the left button is headless mode, and the right button is uh, one key return. And that's different than what the directions say. But that's why you watch these videos on YouTube. Okay, and that 400 milliamp hour is starting to get a little weak here. And I'm almost at full throttle here. And that's it. Well, overall, um, it's, it's your average micro quadcopter. Um, it didn't perform too, or better or worse than your average micro quadcopter. Uh, it uses batteries that just about all of them uses, 300 to 350, even 400. I got a 400 milliamp per hour in there. Um, the directions are incorrect. Which one is uh, starting headless mode and which one is starting one key return? They're actually reversed. Again, this is your headless mode button, vice what I said in the beginning. And this is your one key return button here. Um, you will be confused if you go by the directions. So, other than that, uh, it does look like a your standard uh, uh, Mo King 3300-040. It's just a micro size. So, I hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101, signing out. Night flying with the Mo King 33043. Very pretty uh, quadcopter. Sending it up. Very stable too. Trimming it, bringing it down. I guess that was a little too much trim. There we go. Okay, beginner's right. Intermediate right. Whenever you get a quadcopter, like I said, with lights, make sure it's white. It reflects the light much better. Let's go to expert rate. Right? No, just beginner and intermediate, I guess. No, there's expert. There we go. Very nimble. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Going up toward the moon. Okay, coming back down. Night flyer. Neighbors going by. 
Yeah, they should be used to this by now. <laughs> I like this. This is a nice, nice knife flyer. Thirty-three zero four three, very stable. Let's see here. Ooh, almost got it in the tree. <laughs> Gotta find my tree pole. I got a tree pole around here somewhere. From bringing it down from that tree in particular. I'm using the 400 milliamp hour battery, by the way, folks. The stock battery just didn't do it for me. <laughs> okay, that's enough for tonight. Uh, come on. And shutting it off. <laughs> okay, that was the Bull King 33043. Hope you enjoyed that flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.